Throughout history, certain locations have garnered reputations for being haunted, blending folklore, history, and spine-tingling experiences. This narrative explores some famous haunted locations through the decades, revealing the stories that have contributed to their eerie fame. In the 1920s, the Borley Rectory in England dominated headlines. Known as the most haunted house in England, its tales of ghostly nuns, phantom footsteps, and floating head apparitions captivated the nation's imagination. Built in 1862, Borley Rectory's eerie occurrences were first documented by Reverend Henry Bull and continued under the tenancy of Reverend Lionel Foister and his wife, Marianne. Paranormal investigator Harry Price's involvement gave Borley Rectory its lasting fame as a haunted location. Moving into the 1940s, the Amityville House in New York became infamous. The events began in 1974 but gained widespread attention in 1979 with the release of a book and subsequent film titled The Amityville Horror. The house at 112. Ocean Avenue was the site of a gruesome mass murder committed by Ronald DeFeo Jr., who claimed to be influenced by malevolent voices. When the Lutz family moved in, they reported terrifying phenomena such as slime oozing from the walls, disembodied voices, and apparitions, leading them to flee after just 28 days. The story of the Amityville House has since become one of the most debated and sensationalized hauntings of the 20th century. The 1960s brought focus to the Queen Mary, a retired ocean liner now permanently docked in Long Beach, California. The ship is considered one of America's most haunted places, with reports of ghostly sailors, temperature drops, and the sounds of children playing. Areas like the engine room, fitted with enormous mechanisms, and the first-class swimming pool are hotspots for paranormal activity. Many attribute the hauntings to its history, including its time as a troop ship during World War II, when it was known as the Grey Ghost. Entering the 1980s, the Stanley Hotel in Estes Park, Colorado, soared to paranormal prominence. Though built in 1909, its haunted reputation skyrocketed after Stephen King's 1977 visit, inspiring his novel, The Shining. Stay in room 217, and you might hear ghostly maid Elizabeth Wilson, who was injured in an explosion in 1911. Hotel guests have reported hearing piano music in the dead of night, which they attribute to Flora Stanley, one of the original owners. The Stanley Hotel's haunted history is a blend of chilling personal testimonies and literary influence, making it a must visit for ghost enthusiasts. As the decades turn, the hauntings of the Waverly Hills Sanatorium captured the attention in the 2000s. Located in Louisville, Kentucky, and opened in 1910 as a tuberculosis hospital, Waverly Hills is reputed for housing thousands of patients who succumbed to the disease. The Body Chute, a tunnel used to transport deceased patients, has become a focal point for ghostly encounters. Apparitions of nurses, shadow figures, and mysterious voices contribute to its fearsome reputation. Today, the site conducts ghost tours, continuing its legacy as a place where the past lingers ominously. From the chilling cold spots of the Queen Mary to the ghastly apparitions of the Borley Rectory, each of these locations offers a window into the unknown. They serve as reminders of humanity's enduring fascination with the supernatural and our unending quest to understand the unexplainable.